Hey guys, my name is El Jefe. I am a Twitch streamer who mostly plays Project 1999 EverQuest. And today we are going to be talking about a tip that you might not be able to use for a couple years, but when you get a chance to, oh man, is it ever worth it. Yeah, tonight we're going to be talking about the pot room in Timorous Deep. I'll show you guys how to get out there and I'll explain the usefulness of that quirk of the Canark expansion. So I'm gonna sit here and buff some newbies. Wait for the uh, the raft to get here. Once the raft arrives, we will uh, be on our journey. I like buffing newbies, you guys. You all can keep your raids and your best in slot first to engage. I will take this. The simple joy of buffing newbies in the Oasis of Mar. All right. Spent most of my mana on uh, buffing up the local crocodile group. Still waiting on the on the raft. As you guys can see, the raft has arrived here at Oasis of Mar, and we're just waiting for it to head to Timorous Deep. Say goodbye to Intonica, guys. We're heading for the jungles of Kanak. All right, so we have zoned into Timorous Deep. We're gonna swim for land. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this tip might not be super useful to you right now because Timorous Deep is one of the zones in EverQuest that you cannot bind in. But here's where the quirk of P99 comes. After the launch of Canark, you are able to bind in this zone for two days. That's the official timeline. Now P99, the developers for whatever reason gave people one week to bind in Timorous Deep. And a lot of people took advantage of it. Myself included. All right, so we arriving on this tropical island here. I am gonna look up some directions on the P99 wiki, and then we are gonna run to the spires. Okay, so Timorous Deep is one of the largest zones in the game, so it's gonna be quite a run, but these spires and the pot room contained there are located in the southwest corner of the map. Now, when you come from Oasis, you are on the west side of the map. So from this island, I'm gonna head directly south and hopefully I will find the pot room. So while I'm making this very, very long hike, 
Let's talk about what is the pot room. What am I leading you guys to? So the pot room is a, a exactly as it sounds. It's a room with a different pot from each of the main cities in Norath, with the exception of Kinos. So, for instance, the troll pot is just a campfire, but the barbarian pot is sort of this Nordic uh, looking bowl with all these you know, sort of barbarian looking symbols on them. The dark elf pot has a uh, distinctive marking from Niriak on it, and it goes on and on like that. Each of those pots, if you click on one, will take you directly to that city. Now, you can imagine that if you were to be able to bind at this pot room, one really wouldn't need a wizard or a druid to travel around Norath at very high speeds. And that's really what you get if you come here directly after the launch of Canark. Now, I don't know when the next P99 server is going to launch, but I figure you guys should know about this before Canark launches on that server. Keep this in, in mind, because it is definitely worth your time to head on over there, get a bind point, and just keep that bind point forever. That's where you live now. Okay, so I've hit the southern wall of the zone. Didn't take too long, maybe five, ten minutes. But sort of stuck on this invisible wall. But if I turn, now I have my... Should be able to see the... Ah, and there we are. You guys can see these spires sticking out of the water, I'm going to head towards those. So I suppose that's a strat. Just turn on levitation and so point yourself south, southwest. And uh, it's really not that far from the southwest corner of the map. All right, and we've arrived at the spires. This is where you're going to want to bind yourself if you are to get this bind point. And the reason you want to do that instead of down below in the pot room is because if you're in the pot room, you don't have access to Timorous Deep. But up here, I'm free to also make use of this zone if I'm bound here. So, these are the spires. Let's take a look at that pot room. And here we are. As I said, there's one pot from each town. I don't know if I can name them just by sight, but I'll try here. I'll probably confuse Bellwith with Kelethin. They look very similar. A little Ultra Vision. All right, so we have Niriak, Irudin, uh, Ogok, Rob, kind of primitive. Uh, this little one is Rivervale. Uh, Akanon for the gnomes. This one is Kaladim, home of the dwarves. 
Kabilis, home of the lizard people, the Ixar. We have Freeport, home of evil humans. Palace. I love the dagger. Forgot about that when I described it earlier. Kind of like a Norse dagger in a bowl. Yeah, this might be the best, coolest looking pot. All right, so I mix these two up. It's Kelefin and Felwith, or Felwith and Kelefin. I can't really, this is Kelefin, I think? No, that's Kelefin. This is Kelefin. This is Felwith. And we're back at Nyriak. So two uh, glaring omissions. There is no pot that takes you to Kinos. Palace will be your closest one. And there is no pot that takes you to Pain Eel. Your closest option is going to be over here for Rudin. If you guys found this tip useful, please like and subscribe and find me over here at Twitch TV slash El Jefe, where I'm currently streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings. And I'll see you guys in the next video.